Cross, we got problems one through 22, let's knock it out. In exercise one through eight, identify the initial amount, A, uh, and the rate of growth as a percent. So, uh, so identify the initial amount, A, and the rate of growth, R, and the exponential function. Evaluate when T is five. So uh, the initial amount would be 350, right? And that's going to get multiplied to one, so that's added in. And the rate of growth is 0.75, right? So as a percent, it's going to be 75%. So um, over here we see 350 times 1.75, right? And then that's to the fifth power, because it says t is going to be 5. That tells me we're going to take 1.75, multiply it to itself 5 times to give us 16.5. 413. Now we're going to multiply that to 350. That gives us 5,744.6. T is yours to do. I'm going to number 3. Now we see that we've got Y equals 25 times 1.2 to the T power. Once again, we realize that this is going to be, uh, when we move it over twice, 120%. That's the growth there. So when we do this, we're going to be taking T Replacing it with 5, that's going to go ahead. Uh, we see that we've got 1 plus R, that's 1.2, right? And so when we minus 1 from both sides, we see that we have 0.2. So the rate of growth is just 0.2. And then uh, we're taking that 25 times 1.25. So we've got 1.25 times itself 5 times. To give us 2,488. We'll multiply that to 25. That gives us 62.2. All right. So the value of y is about 62.2 when t is 5. You have number 4 to do. Number 5 says identify the initial amount. Once again, we're making t 5. When I do this, I see that I got 1.074. That means we're going to be, uh, see, when we subtract one from it, we'll see that the rate of growth is 0 0.074, right? And then we're going to figure this out. We're taking 1.074, multiplying it to itself five times. That's going to give us 1.429. Then we're going to multiply it to 1,500. That's going to give us 2,143.4. Number six is for you to do. Now we got number seven. Uh, it's saying multiplying it by two, all right? And since the initial amount was 6.72, that tells me that we probably had a 100% because it's going to be one plus one, right? And that means the rate of growth was one, 100%, right? And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that uh, two, multiply it to itself five times, that gives us 32. Then we're going to take 32 and multiply it to itself, or multiply it to 6.72. That's 215. All right, and number eight for you to do. Now we have nine through 12. Number nine, the sales of 10,000 increases by 65%. So now we see that we're going to write this function. We move the decimal over twice. That's going to give us 0.65. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for some reason, nine isn't there. Let me go ahead and fix that really quick. Okay, so uh, when we do that, we see that we've got uh, y equals a times one plus r, so this is 65%. We know that's one plus 0.65, and we move that decimal back, and then that's gonna be giving us 1.65. We're going to multiply uh, that to t, or excuse me, multiply it to itself t times, we don't know how many that is, so we're going to leave it in this form, and that's going to get multiplied to 10,000. So uh, the sales can be represented by y equals 10,000 times 1.65 to the t power. Next is number 11. Number 11 says a population of 2,100 uh, increased by 12.5 each year. When we move this back, it's going to be 1.25. I'm sorry, it should be 0 0.125. I think I said 1.25, 0 0.125. And then we're going to add that to one, which is 1.125. 
and so our formula would be 210,000 uh, times 1.125 to the t power. You have number 12 to do. Uh, number 13 is and 14 are skipped, so we're going to number 15 now. It says identify the initial amount. This time t is going to be 3. Well, we have 1 minus 0.6. Uh, so the initial amount, you can see that we have uh, 1, point, or 1 minus r, which is equal to 1 minus 0.6. When I minus the 1 from both sides, that's going to give us negative r is equal to negative 0.6. We subtract negative or divide negative one, so it'll be a positive R, and I give us 0.6. That means when we move the decimal back, that's a 60% decrease or, or de, uh, rate of decay. All right? And now we see that we're going to be taking uh, 575 uh, times 1 minus 0 0.6. 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 times itself three times is 0 0.0. 64. And now we're going to take 0 0.064 and multiply it to 575, which gives us 36.8. So the value of y is 36.8 when t equals 3. All right, number 16. Curious to do. Number 17, uh, we've got 0.75, so we're going to have uh, c. 1 minus r equals 0.75. When we subtract 1 from both sides, it gives us a negative r equals negative 0.25. And I divide negative 1 from both sides. That's going to give us 0.25. Uh, now that we have r equals 0.25, we're going to go ahead and see that the, uh, the rate of decay is 25% after we move the decimal back. Sorry about that. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and take two, uh, or excuse me, 0 0.75, multiply it to itself three times, which gives us 0.422. We're going to multiply that to 240, which gives us 101.3. 18 is yours to do. Now we've got 19. Once again, we're taking 1 minus r, and we're equaling 0.4. 995. When we subtract one from that, we're going to get negative 0.005. We divide the negative one away, we get 0 0.005. Now we're going to go ahead and move that decimal over. That gives us a rate of decay of 0.5%. Now we're going to multiply that 0.995 to itself three times, which gives us 0.9851. And we're going to multiply it to 700. That gives us 600, sorry about that, and 89.6. So the value of W the T power is about uh, 689.6 when T is 3. Uh, number 20 was yours to do. 21 says uh, T is to the third power. When I do this, uh, I got a 7 eighth. We're taking 1 minus r equals 7 over 8. We minus the 1 from that. That's going to give us 1 over 8. Now, 1 over 8, 1 divided by 8 is 0.125. We move that decimal over. That's a rate of decay of 12.5%. Now we're going to go ahead and use our formula. 7 over 8 to the third power is going to be 0.7, or about 0.7. So the value of y is about 0.7. 22 is yours to do. 23, a college enrollment of 100,000 decreases by 2%. It says write a function. So to write this function, I would take 100,000 and I'd multiply it to 1 minus 0.02%. I think that's what we got here, 1 minus 0 0.02. There we go. And that's going to give us 0.95. And that's all you can do because we don't know what T is. So 100,000 times 0.95 to the T power. Number 25, you have number 24 to do. 25, we've got $100 decreased in value by 9.5%. Uh, now we, you're going to move the decimal over. It's going to be 0 0.095 that we'll be subtracting from, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, from 1. And 1 minus 0 0.095 is uh, 0 0.905. So our function 
is going to be 100 times 0 0.905 to the t power. That was all of them that I had to do. You had all the way up to number 26 to do. Might have actually been only 22 or uh, so. Uh, check how many you had to do on your homework. If you didn't have to go this far, then that's great. See you in class for grading.